Gia, Hollywood, Tennessee, Hollywood AC. It's the show, man. Watch it. It's Hollywood in the Big M town. How AC do it, man, ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax and turn up the dial. It's Hollywood in the Big M town. How AC do it, man, ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax and turn up. Hi, I'm Barbara Janice. Uh, the song I'm going to do for you is called Beautiful Moment. And uh, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, one of my sponsors, Yo Clark, and I'm OK, You're OK, okay Yoga Therapy. And uh, check us out, check me out on barbaragenice.bandcamp.com.
Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, for the viewers, who is Barbara Janice? Um, I'm a singer-songwriter, born and raised in Memphis. Um, okay. I've, for the last 10 years, I've been in recovery from traumatic brain injury. So recently, wow. I've been devoting a lot of time to teaching music and, and working with other, other adults and children with neurological disabilities and uh, you know, pursuing my art and music. Uh, it's been an extremely wild, fun ride the last couple of years. Okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, what uh, projects are you working on as far as the material uh, with your music? Um, with my music, we just finished um, my first EP. It's called The Believe Initiative. Okay. Um, and it was produced by Kari Wynn. Um, and he actually titled it because we were working on the final track called Believe. And uh, we actually wrote it in Michael Joyner's living room. We were rehearsing wow. for okay. one of Mike's shows and Shelby Baldock was on the drums and he just kind of started in with his beat and then he switched to another one, another one. And I just jumped up and yelled out, wait, wait, go back to that one. And uh, cause I already had um, a lot of lyrics written for it. Um, okay first verse and chorus and like half of the second um, so I'll probably play that one for you tonight um, but uh, yeah we finished it and most of my songs tend to have some relation to my head injury because it's such a okay. giant part of my life uh, you know, I lost my memory and my speech and I had wow. to learn how to walk again you know, wow. a, a couple of times so it's been so um, 10 years 10 years in recovery mm -hmm. wow. um, October 27th last year was the 10th anniversary and I was actually on stage at River Arts Fest wow. downtown. That's a blessing. Um, That's a blessing. That was <laughs> yeah. huge. Okay. Yeah. Um, so tell me more about the art. What were you doing with your artwork? Um, well, the art started um, when I was just bedridden and I you know, couldn't move, didn't have okay. any, other, any other outlet. Um, I had stopped performing and you know, my guitar was locked in my closet for seven years um, and wow. I just... Um, and I was so locked down that that expression just had to come out somehow. And I started sketching with uh, charcoals and pencils. And um, my grandfather is an architect and painter and uh, you know, carpenter. And we just uh, eventually embraced all, all the things that he had, had tried to tried to teach us. So uh, I you know adopted all of my sisters, kind of co-opted all of her art supplies and. Um, Eventually, I started painting the wall in my room. So okay. naturally, my mother was not too happy with that, but um, it, it turned out pretty well because uh, I turned it into a, a 16 by 20 canvas that actually ended up being displayed in Nashville with um, the community collective from Caritas Village. Are these some of the pieces? Mm -hmm. These okay. were the two that were, were in Nashville um, at the Tennessee Arts Commission headquarters. Um, wow. Yeah, that was that was an amazing. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty <laughs> exciting. Okay. Yeah, um, so I don't know. This seems to be a year of art and music really emerging, and they've definitely been instrumental in my recovery and and um, and me being able to kind of self actualize again um, after being down for so long. Uh, so that's basically the theme in Believe um, and. As we were finishing the production of Believe, it was the last track, Kari said, you know, you're always talking about TBI, about your traumatic brain injury. You should call your album TBI, but not traumatic brain injury. Call it the Believe Initiative. Because, wow. you know, yeah, we're working I like on that. That's Believe. Nice. Yeah. Um, and the, the song was dedicated to Gabby Giffords, you know, the senator who oh, okay. was shot in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, ironically, Phoenix Fest didn't spring from Phoenix, Arizona, it, um, right. but my CD release event is going to be called Phoenix Fest because of the, the theme of rebirth and renewal um, coming through fire and you know, um, turning yourself into something greater than you were before. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tell me, who are some of your influences uh, uh, to um, music? Musically, yes. wow. Um, growing up, my favorite, absolute favorite musical artists were uh, the Isley Brothers. Wow. I mean, and I loved Patti LaBelle and Anita Baker um, and God, Gladys Knight and the Pips, but um, the like Isleys. Old school <laughs> stuff. Yeah, now, that was young, just in the beginning. Like, like um, Ernie Isley made me yeah. want to play guitar. Wow. I still, okay. you know, I can't touch it anywhere near. I've just started, just started, yeah. you know, 
play it around with playing lead a little bit, but okay. definitely Ernie Isley was a big influence in getting me to pick up a guitar. Um, you know, and my parents, when I was four, I believe, maybe a little younger, um, I had a toy piano and I started picking out the uh, songs by ear. And I can still remember the day it was, it was sitting at the base of our stairs. And when I finally got it, I was just so happy and I was playing it. And I turned around and they were standing at the top of the stairs with their jaws dropped. <laughs> 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 um, and then they went and bought a piano. <laughs> so you played the piano as well? Um, I'm getting back into it. It was one okay. of those things that I forgot and I'm yeah. kind of uh, reteaching myself. And thankfully I have a couple of um, preschool and kindergarten students who are learning introductory to piano. So being able to work with them is really helping me kind of bring that back and, and relearn okay. it. Um, because the guitar was like the first thing that I really picked up after my accident. I'd started okay. teaching myself to play about two weeks before it happened. And you know, my hands were crushed and in, in these slings and all I'm asking them is like, so when can I start playing guitar again? <laughs> 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 you know, um, but it was a great tool for me to rebuild those muscles in my hand and that motor, those motor skills and dexterity. Um, and I, most of my influences when I started writing were actually Tracy Chapman and Jewel. Wow. Like Jewel in a big way because I would hear her music on the radio and then I ended up getting a book of her poetry. And it was so similar to all the poems that I had had written myself, but okay. um, would either only share in class or never share at all. Oh, wow. You know? okay. um, and then to see how she took those from you know, her written word and you know, put it to music, that was, that was, that was the link that I needed to yeah, kind of... to get you started. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> now tell me, what are uh, some of the upcoming events you have going on? Uh, well, the biggest thing I've got coming up is Phoenix Fest. Uh, okay, Phoenix Fest. Tell know, me about I that. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Um, it's basically a two-day art and music festival at the okay. Rumble Room. Um, it started out, I was talking to Jim Davila about the work that I've been doing and about the art. We talked mm -hmm. about, um, you know, a trolley night. And then he also wanted to start reaching out to the community a bit more, doing some different types of events. And we ended up with this two days of art wow. and music. And I mean, we're going to have live art, live painters, live dancers, art in motion, which is basically some of the dancers will be painted, painted. with body right, art. Right. Um, you know, Chinese Connection, Dub Embassy, Michael Joyner, <laughs> Juju Bushman yeah. was thankfully the first person to sign on and agree to play Phoenix uh, Fest with me. Um, nice talent, nice yeah. talent there. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Uh, my friend, friend Rita Adams from Jackson is gonna come down and play. Okay. Um, the band that I've been singing with lately, Big Luscious, uh, they're gonna okay. come out and wow. those guys are hilariously phenomenal, <laughs> but they uh, have really helped me to take my stage presence to the next level. Okay. Um, and that's been a real gift, a real gift. Um, and in terms of visual artists, on trolley night, we're just having an art reception. Okay. Um, and we've got Frank D. Robinson, who's one of my mentors at The Village, uh, Carl Moore, Jerico Delaney, of course, Brooke yeah. Sarden. Um, okay. She inspired so much of my art because as a young child, our mothers were friends. Okay. And she was constantly painting and, you know, seeing her work, especially uh, butterflies. Oh. And so that was another really big influence for me artistically. Um, these okay, yeah, butterflies were one of my... Artwork? Yeah, one of my mm -hmm. um, first pieces. I painted it digitally on the iPad. Okay. Um, Wow. which has been Technology. a really good, wow. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, then I would I just print them on different mediums and kind of play around with them. Uh, this one, Twisted Muse, uh, was actually completely done on the iPad and then printed to, uh, printed to canvas. Wow. Um, so a lot of my mixed media art is going to be on display uh, at Phoenix Fest. Okay. Um, and it, I'm Really excited! It's like the biggest event that uh, that I've that I've ever done, certainly. Okay. And uh, yeah. it would not be happening without the help of all of our sponsors and just yeah, you know, my friends and even complete strangers just decided to jump in and help fill the void wherever there's something lacking or missing. Uh, you know, step in and to <coughs> well, help. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you say that. Uh, even the SC Group, we're today. We're gonna help as well. We you know promote. Uh, as much as we possibly can for you. Absolutely, thank you. you know. so much. And do you have you have a flyer? Yeah, yeah. Um, you put that out there. Actually, Caleb Sigler from uh, Three Artists One Yard uh, 
just asked if we had a flyer. I told him I had a digital, another painting that I had done specifically for Phoenix right. Fest, um, and I had been trying to work on a flyer myself. It really wasn't coming together, and he said, just send me all the images, all the logos. I'll get it done for you. Um, and so Turned they sponsored the, yeah, the flyers. Yeah. <laughs> they are awesome. Um, you know, I've got to thank our sponsors, you know, the Rumba Room, Tammy D, our, um, Ascendo Media, um, my friend Melanie with her Luke's Leaf Body Butter, my friend <laughs> Megan, uh, Sugar Coated wedding, Weddings and Events, um, Good Life and Honeysuckle Health Foods is also oh, a really yeah. uh, key sponsor for us, and uh, Cashmere Designs. It, the list is long, and I'm yeah, sure I've left yeah. out someone <laughs> <laughs> pretty important. But you, you didn't mean to, though, so <laughs> don't, don't be a fan. They know, I mean, they know it's all love. And I'm <laughs> yeah. um, it should be a, a great uh, festivity. Uh, uh, from what I'm hearing, it's going to be great. Thank you. Especially with the lineup that you have. Wow, there's just some of the people that's going to be there. Yeah. It's, it's going to be nice. It is. I think yeah. so. I think so. It's get your tickets good. and uh, check this out. Yeah, yeah, find me any any artist on the bill. You know, we've also got Red Planet and our artistic approach. Um, find any wow. of the artists and get your tickets. We'll have fire dancers uh, from uh, Kirua. Um, my stepsister, Nicole Dorsey, was going to be doing the live paint, uh, the body art. So, you know, see any of the Phoenix Festies and get your tickets. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> okay, here's a portion of the show uh, where I test your skills about artists that already came before you. Uh, we're going to spin the wheel <laughs> and uh, we're going to match up and uh, see what we got and just uh, give it your best. Okay. Right, you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Number, what's this? Number four. Four. Okay, number four. <clears throat> what was the name of the album that won keys alicia keys five grammys what was the name of the album hmm. was it the first one the diary of alicia keys no no oh gosh this is my <laughs> worst subject guys i don't know <laughs> oh think 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 um was one of hers calls called, called as i am um no i'm see now, now you have me <laughs> okay. <laughs> no idea. No idea. <laughs> okay. Songs in a mirror. Songs in a minor. Wow. In yeah. A it's like, darn, I should have known that one. Okay. Really. <laughs> Let's spin it again. Let's see what we got. Two. Let's see what two holes. Okay. Anita Baker is known for her singing, but what other art form is she known for? And to you, I'm gonna give you multiple choice. Oh, okay. Okay? All right. <laughs> Number one, acting. Number two, dancing. Number three, writing. I'm a, I just, I'm, a, I'm a turn away. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> is it writing? No. No. Oh man. Gosh. <laughs> I, I just have no. Just did she act? No. Or she was a dancer. Oh, that's right. I remember because my mom was a dancer. I totally forgot. Yeah, I should have known. She was that a dancer. <gasps> really should have known. She that. was a good dancer at that. Yeah. yeah. Now, see, now I remember. Now yeah. it's it's. It's all coming back okay. to me. <laughs> back to me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two more chairs. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, please. God. Three. Let's see what <laughs> we get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jill Scott featured, featured on a... Um, Album with George Benson and Al Jerome. What was the name of the song? She fe <laughs> 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 
I'm just gonna be honest with you, AC. I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> They said honesty is the best policy, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> God. Learn, like, this is great learning experience. Right. God bless the child. Oh, I love that God song. bless the child. I love that song, yeah. Okay, last one. <laughs> okay, Sheila E. Play. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, Sheila E. played on the Cosby Show. And what year? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no. <laughs> okay, it was in I the nineties. It, it was in the nineties. Um, I'm gonna give you that. When she played on the Cosby Show, it was in the nineties. Cosby Show. I want to say before I it was like went mid, to high school. So like mid nineties. I get I, 95, 96. 96. Was it 96? 96. I was close. I was yeah. so close. I was like, we can get that one. 96. It's middle school. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me this. Uh, if I want to just, if I'm hanging out one night, I want to see you, where can I catch you at? Well, uh, some Friday nights you can catch me at Westies with Big Luscious. We do a lot of, okay. a lot of, uh, really popular cover tunes and wow. uh, yeah, okay. nice little Beale Street alternative there. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I host open mic nights at wow. Martin Ed's on okay. third Tuesdays with my friend Yuvu and DJ Wise Life, um, okay. both from Red Planet. And then on first Saturdays with Tiffany Mache, we've been hosting open mic night at the Caritas Village, which, of course, is, you know, Caritas is all about the arts and the community. Right. Um, and that's where proceeds of Phoenix Fest are are gonna go to help rebuild that and continue the music and art programs there. Um, okay. So first Saturdays at Caritas Village, uh, that is a very family friendly, family friendly open mic night. Message. Okay, um, Martin Eds, we let it all hang out. <laughs> it is, <Okay. laughs> you know, it is a very comfortable um, adult open mic night. Yeah, it's called Soul Speak, and okay. everyone does really get up and let their soul speak it's wow um, might have to check that out absolutely last night we had people in from germany um it was it's it's incredible every time okay. you know and we've got rotating hosts so uh, you know coming out my friend miss knee who's also going to be at phoenix fest um she's one of the hosts hard face and then we have um, a couple face. of guests oh, exactly okay. hard face, yes okay. Okay. <laughs> Deep yeah. Pod. <laughs> yeah. Say no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you okay. get me. Yeah. Um, so tell me this. Um, where can the listeners go out and find your music or anything uh, related to your art? Where can they go? What sites? Okay. Well, um, my main site is um, it's named Recover Art, but uh, okay. the actual website I got a little artsy when I was naming it. It's rcvrart.com. So it's rcvrart.com is my website, my blog. You can find show dates and um, updates about uh, everything that I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, especially, I, I talk quite a bit about my recovery journey. Um, okay. <laughs> and then I've also got, uh, my music is going to be up on Bandcamp, so you can pre-order the CD, uh, the Believe Initiative. Okay. Um, you can also preview and listen. Uh, if you if you pre-order the CD, you get two free tracks. Wow! So okay. yeah, okay. yeah, b ahead of time, and get then you'll automatically yeah. absolutely <laughs> love perks. Um, yeah. yeah. If you check out my Facebook page, we've got some VIP packages for Phoenix wow. Fest. Uh, I need to check yeah, that out. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Which will be tonight. So okay. you know, as soon as you see Phoenix Fest. Come on out to the Rumba Room, South Side of Maine. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful interview. I, I appreciate you coming out to the show. Thank uh, you. I enjoyed the interview. So have I. It's yes, been a lot it's, of fun. It's been a blast. <laughs> um, um, we're going to wrap it up. Um, before we do, uh, I want you to take us out with something. Uh, uh, sure. Whatever you decide to take us out with, I know it would be great. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll give you guys the title track from, from the CD, Believe. You know. Okay. Uh, I don't play it as well as Kari, but I enjoy it when I play it, so, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, appreciate you. Thank uh, you. Thank you, viewers, for checking out the Hollywood AC show. Shoot for the moon. 
You bound to find a star. This is Believe. Free, I want to be fearless, want to break, break through the madness and sadness. These chains, chains, chains have been holding me back. Oh, now I want to go further than I've ever gone. Get beyond the words and beyond this song. I don't know if you know what I mean. But I, 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 I still believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, I. I, I believe, you know, I believe, I still believe in possibilities, I, I, I still believe. Your pain, I know what you're feeling. I know you don't sleep staring at the ceiling with living nightmares in broad daylight. Now I know that you feel so lost and so all alone, but I also know that the way back home is warriors fall down, but we get up again and again and again. And I still believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, I, 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 I still believe. I believe, you know, I believe, I, I still believe in possibilities. See, I, 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 I still believe, I want to be free. Possibilities. I, 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 I still believe. 